In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use extensions in GDevelop 5. Now, extensions are a great way for you to simplify your work. So if you are feeling lazy and you don't want to use so many events, you can use extensions and it's going to make your work very simple. Now, let's say we want to create a bullet. You can write a whole lot of events to do that or we can just use an extension. So let's take a look at how to use the fire bullet extension in GDevelop 5. So you're going to head over to project manager and from project manager, you want to get to functions stroke behaviors. So right here, if you click on the arrow, you are going to have these show up. So you want to get over to search for new extensions and click on that. Now, in order for you to have this window with all these new extensions, you want to make sure you have internet connection. It's not going to show up if you do not have internet connection. So please have internet connection before you try this out. So you want to get to fire bullets. So you want to search for fire. Yeah. And then go for fire bullets. So in order to be able to use this extension, we will have to install the extension first of all. So we are going to go for install in project. Now, after installation, all we have to do is add it up to the object we want to create the bullet from. For this tutorial, we're going to be setting the extension to that of the player head box. Now, we know that the player is set to that of the player head box. So, whatever we set on the player head box is going to be created from the position of the player. So, you can set your extension to the platform or any of the objects right here if you wanted to be shooting from any of these but we are going to be using the player hitbox because we want to fire the bullet from the player so you get into the three dots um, we're going to get to edit object and then go for behaviors so right here in behaviors you're just going to click on add a behavior to the object scroll downwards and then get to fire bullet now that is the extension we are just going to click on apply and with that we've set the extension to that of the player head box now we have to make sure the extension is working when we press on the key so we are going to get into new scene and then we are going to create a new event so with this new event we are going to set up the key press and then we are going to trigger the extension so we are going to get into add condition and then search for key pressed. We are going to go for key pressed. And then we are going to set the key to Z. Now you can set the key to any alphabet. Now we are going to add up another condition. And then go for trigger once. Now we are going to add up the trigger once condition. And head over to add action. From add action, we are going to search for the extension, which is fire. So you can see the extension right here, fire a bullet and fire a bullet toward the position. So what we are going to be doing is take a look at both of them. Then we are going to be using the fire bullet, a bullet towards a position. So we are going to go for fire bullet. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm not going to be using this. It's because of the angle. So we are going for this you are, you are going to have to set an angle which is not always going to be so precise. Um I I would rather go for fire a bullet towards a position so that's what we are going to be using. So you are going to go for the object which is the player head box. Now you want to use the object that you set the extension to or the behavior to. So right here you can see the behavior fire bullet so you want to make sure you are using that particular object. If you choose any other object, you're going to see this. So it's not going to be working. So you want to make sure you go for the right object. So we are going to set the position where we want to create the bullet. You're going to go for player, hit box, and then you're going to type in here center 
x. Now we are going to copy this and then just paste it in the y position. And then change the value from x to y. For the bullet object, we are going to go for bullet. So this is the object. You can use any object. And we are going to set a target position. So for the target position, we are going to target the slime, which is the enemy within the game. We are going to go for slime walk. That's the name of the object. And then go for X into bracket. So this is very simple. Copy that and then paste. And then change the value from X to Y. Now you're going to set the speed of the bullet to 200, but you can set it to 100 or any other value you want. But 200, I feel is okay for this. Once you add a negative sign, what is going to happen is it's going to make the bullet move to the left hand side. So you want to use the positive if you want your bullet to move to the right hand side. You're going to go for OK and add two additional events. Now with the newly added event, you're going to add an action. And then the action is to resize the bullet because the bullet is going to be very huge. When you resize that, you're going to type in here size and then go for height. You're going to choose the object, which is the bullet, and then set the sign to set to and then the value to 50. We are just going to copy and paste this. And then we are going to change it from height to width. So this is going to set the size of the bullet. Now what we need to do finally is to make sure the bullet destroys the enemy when it collides with the enemy. So we are just going to go for add condition and then type in here collision. So you're going to go for collision. You're going to choose the object, which is the bullet. And then you're going to choose the object that is going to get hit with the bullet, which is the slime walk and go for OK. So the action you're going to add, you're going to add a delete action, but you can use anything like a feed away or anything, but we're going to be using a delete. We're going to type here delete and go for delete the object and then choose the object slime walk. So now we are going to test out what we've done. And take a look at how this is going to play out. I'm going to run this. So right here, when I press on the Z key, you can see the bullet is discharged. I'm going to press it again, and then it hits the enemy. The enemy gets deleted. Now, it doesn't always get it precisely because the enemy is moving. But it's still going to hit the enemy when you position it properly. So that is how you can use extensions in GDevelop 5. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and you can download the source file from h.io. I'm going to leave a link in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating. Game. Dirt.